Hi, everyone. Welcome to SINLAB Podcast, where we discuss important health topics. My name is Uche Amadi, and I'll be your host. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and follow SINLAB Nigeria on YouTube and Spotify. Today, we'll discuss a topic that affects millions, the untold truths and stories about genitals, where we'll be focusing on human papilloma virus, which is also called HPV, and cervical cancer connection. Today, we are having an exclusive with Dr. Habib Mohammed, and together we aim to empower you with knowledge. In this first episode, we'll talk about understanding the genitals. But before we proceed, let me introduce our esteemed guest. Dr. Habib Mohammed is a highly experienced and accomplished clinical and radiation oncologist with a wealth of of expertise spanning over two decades. He has played pivotal roles in patient care, education, and policy advocacy within the field of oncology in Nigeria. He graduated from the College of Medicine, University of Lagos in 1996, and completed his residency training in clinical and radiation oncology in 2007. He has held various leadership positions at Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Chief Clinical Coordinator and former Head of Radiotherapy Department, serving as the lead oncologist for NSIA, Luth Cancer Center. He is also a member of Quality Assurance Team for Radiation Oncology, Quattro, of IAEA, International Autonomic Energy Agency. He is actively involved in medical education, lecturing at the College of Medicine, and mentoring resident doctors in radiotherapy procedures. He engages in researches focusing on cancer treatment challenges in sub-Saharan Africa. He also participates in training programs and, and observerships, including the facilitated by the International Autonomic Energy Agency, demonstrating a commitment to continuous professional development and international collaboration. Overall, his multifaceted contributions encompass clinical care, education, research, and policy advocacy, aiming to enhance cancer care services and outcomes, both locally and globally. You're highly welcome, Dr. Habib. Thank this you. This is quite impressive. Thank you. But on a lighter note, why oncology? Well, oncology is a growing field. It's an interesting field. Yes. And uh, we know the burden of cancer, how it is. If you've had a relative or a friend that has cancer, you know what it takes. So mm. we really need people to help elevate this body. Wow. And so oncology is, uh, is an interesting field. And uh, if I have any other opportunity, it will be oncology, oncology, oncology. Wow, <laughs> that's <laughs> impressive. Okay, remember the topic is the untold truths and stories about genitals. We are focusing on HPV and cervical cancer connection. So I want to be asking Dr. Habib, why does it appear like the genitals are misunderstood? Now, speaking about the female genitals, why does it appear misunderstood? Well, uh, it appears misunderstood because, like you said, uh, it's difficult usually to speak about it because it's a, it's a private part. And uh, if you want to speak about it, you can be misunderstood. <laughs> so it's something you you are really careful about which forum and who <laughs> is uh, you know okay. around when you speak about. Okay. Uh, so that's the reason. Okay, so why, how do we manage, you know, the private part, the vagina, yeah. has a lot of, you know, down there, there are so many parts. Yeah. So how do you help people understand the different parts? Because I think everybody just says vagina, but I know of so many other parts that, you know, the female uh, genitals yeah, ac academically, when yeah. you are in an academic forum okay. or when you are in a medical forum okay. where there is need for that you know, explanation, it is done. Okay. But when you are in a social gathering, you it just becomes, generalize. Yes, it becomes a bit more... Just vagina. Exactly, because you don't want to go into details. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, that's you interesting. You are private about it. Very private. That's why it's private. <laughs> Very interesting. Yes. Okay, so what is true about genitals and STI transmission and infection? Well, uh, cervical cancer, which is the most common genital cancer has been linked to HPV. Yes. That's human papilloma virus. Okay. And uh, over 90% of women with uh, cervical cancer are 
you know, affected with a, a man papilloma virus. Okay. And uh, we know from the developed world that you can stem this cancer. And uh, the most important way to stem it is to stem the flu, the infection with human papilloma virus. There are many vaccines that are now available okay. uh, that we can give the young or uh, adolescents, uh, both men, both boys and girls, to stem this virus. Okay. And if you stem the virus, you are able to reduce the incidence of cervical cancer by over 70%, okay. which has been achieved in the developed world. We can always replicate it. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already there. We already have the knowledge, okay. so we can do it. Okay, so speaking of this HPV, could yeah. you help enlighten our listeners? What is actually this HPV and why is it a significant health concern? Yeah, HPV is a contagious disease. It's a sexually transmitted disease. Okay. Uh, it's actually human papilloma virus. Yes. So it affects human and it's a virus. You know, viruses are agents that they are smaller than bacteria. So uh, because they are so small, it is usually difficult for our immune system to recognize them. So okay. when you are infected with it, it is not easy for our immune system to recognize it. So it remains there and causes chronic irritation. Oh. This chronic irritation is what eventually causes mutation. Mutation is damage to the DNA. DNA is the code of the cell that you know, regulate cell growth. So when there is damage to that code, the, the cell no longer responds to the regulations. So when the cell becomes cancerous, that means it, undergo, it undergoes abnormal transformation. Okay. So it starts growing uncontrollably and it stops having the normal function of a normal cell. So we say it's cancerous. It's cancerous because it can spread from that side to other part of the body. A term we normally call metastasis. Yes. And uh, this is what is important about cancer. Okay. Yeah. So, but the HPV, why is it? Why is it a serious health concern? Why is it significant? It's significant because cervical cancer is the second most common cancer okay. that we have in this country, and uh, worldwide, it's also very common. It's only second to breast cancer, and uh, it can be stopped. We don't have to have. Uh, patient having cervical cancer because like I said earlier, if we are able to immunize or the, the adolescents or the adult, we are able to test for this HPV and recognize it and then treat the patient either by immunizing or, you know, curing the person of this human papilloma virus, then we, ha we won't have this cervical cancer. So human papilloma virus is the most important factor in causing this cancer. So that's why it's important to track it okay. so that if you can cure the patient or you can cure people off it, we won't have cervical cancer in the first place. Okay. It's a curable disease. Okay. It's a preventable disease, rather. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what are the common misconceptions surrounding HPV? Okay, common misconceptions, uh, people normally wonder if truly vaccine can prevent it, and uh, we, many other people also wonder if it is actually sexually transmitted or if it is genetic, that's familial, that's if, if a parent can give birth to a child that has HPV, you know, and there are many other, you know, myths around HPV. But it's important for us to understand the truth about it, the real fact about it, which is that though we know that it causes cervical cancer, but it can be stopped. You can prevent that contamination. You can prevent that transfer. It's a sexually transmitted disease. Yes. So you can only get it if you have a coitus with somebody who already have it. Okay. So if we immunize our young ones, they won't have it. So on the long run, uh, we will have a population free of man papilloma virus. Yes, so I it's agree. important for us to track it. That's the most important thing, to know to prevent it or track it and treat it if the person already has it. Thank you very much, Dr. Habib. This yeah. has been very insightful, a very insightful introduction. And to my listeners out there, have you learned anything? Please let me know in the comments. Now, having heard all this, you are encouraged to walk up to any sin lab location and request for our peachy panels, which is our anonymous STI testing. You can also request for LBC for our cervical cancer screening. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and follow Sin Lab Nigeria on YouTube and on Spotify. We'll be right back.